up until today, you probably didn't know you needed this little trick. But I'm about to show you the Affinity Designer double effect hack. So what do I mean by double effect? Well, basically, if let's say you have a rectangle or any sort of shape or anything that you want to add an effect to, if, for example, I wanted to add a transparent effect so using the transparency tool, say, for example, I wanted to go from the top left corner, to the bottom right corner, all good and well, brilliant, job done. But what if I wanted to also add the same transparency from the bottom left corner to the top right corner? Well, let's give it a go. If I click the transparency tool again, click from the bottom left to the top right, eh, can't do it, can you? What do you do? The double effect hack, that's what you do. Simply all you do is head to the layer panel, click on the layer that you want the effect to be added onto, simply hit Control and G, put it in a group. So all you've got here is the effect on this layer here, and then the group that that layer is within. And now what you do is you add the effect to the group. So now clicking on this group, we go to the transparency tool and now go from the top left corner to the bottom right corner. And now if you have a look on the group, we have this transparency and on the rectangle, we have the opposite transparency. So now we have two transparency tools on one effect. Now you might be saying, yeah, well, you may as well just go across the center. Well, here's the little thing is that now you can tweak these slightly differently. So on this one, let's say on the one that's on the group, we could make this have more of a reddish tint. Whereas on the other one, we can make this less reddish tint or even make it so it's just affecting that top corner or both those top corners. That's and that's all we needed. Say, for example, this is going to be a title header in the top corner like that. And we just want that fade effect just into that top corner and this bottom corner. You can add two effects to one simple thing. Now you might be asking, well, where else could I use this? Well, let me show you. Let's delete this rectangle. Let's bring in another one. Now say you want to add a layer effect. Let's open the layer effect library. And let's say we want to add a outer glow. So we add an outer glow. Let's make it reasonably big and it's white. Perfect. But what if we did the same thing? What if we hit control and G? made it into a group. We have our layer with the effect on in there, but now clicking on the group, we add an effect. This time we add an outer glow. And instead of making it white, let's make it something like a blue. Now, if we increase the radius, we can see that there is a blue tint on the outside as well. So basically what we have here now is a rectangle with two outer glows both slightly different colors and it gives it a different effect than it would have done had you only had the one color to be able to put in, in the background now some people might say you could just grab this rectangle duplicate it and then change the effect of the second one and change the color and have a similar effect which is true but in my opinion you've got two rectangles now whereas before you had one you have to rename each to figure out which one is which to figure out whether the color is the blue one or the white one. And it can make it just a little bit more difficult within the layer panel. So my way, we simply have the rectangle in its own group with the effect on top. And again, we can make slight edits to one of them without affecting the other one. Or we could go back and say, you know what? We don't want this one to be white. Let's change this one to be like a yellow color, like that looks ridiculous and horrible, but it's a possibility. Now you could do it with the outline as well and have more and more outlines over each other, but you can add duplicate strokes anyway to shapes. So wouldn't really be useful in that respect, but especially with things like shadows, outer shadows, you can add multiple ones. So say if you had two light sources and you wanted a shadow on the bottom left hand side and the bottom right hand side, well, we could do that. So hopefully this has helped. You could go a little bit crazy with this and add multiple effects again and again and again and again. But it's, it's all down to your creative freedom and whatever you decide to do. So mess around with it. 
see what you can find, see what you can do, but hopefully it's helped. So that's the double effect hack. I hope that has helped. If it has, make sure you drop it a like, hit the subscribe button as well with more videos coming up like this. If you want to, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Twitch as well. We're going to hopefully be doing some more art streams on Twitch, so don't miss those. If you have any questions about this or any other topics that you want covered, drop it in the comments below. And as always, I've been Brown Bear. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.